Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about something I noticed recently about businesses. I realized that almost everybody has stepped up their game now. Like before, when you see someone running a business, they just like do makeshift. Like let's just manage this one, people that will come will come, you know. But now, even suya stands are no longer the average suya stands where you just see an ugly wooden bench and the coal and the wire mesh and the man roasting the suya. Like people almost build cafes just for suya. And it's amazing. And one thing I realized is that because now many more people are going into businesses and there is more competition, everybody now has dropped that half ass attitude and is like putting their best to get customers because it reminds me of when there was just MTN and sims were going for 20,000, 10,000 and then more network providers came and then you can get a sim of 100 naira and you can even get free sim, sim cards you know so it what actually provoked this blog is that I went back to school so the last time I was in the school environment was post pre-covid and then usually there are three I think three fast foods close to the school area like three major fast foods I'm not going to be mentioning their names because <laughs> nobody's promoting me to do this thing <laughs> so those three fast foods you know they served the consumer population but uh, after covid i think many more people were coming to build eateries around and malls so i think everybody was trying to sit up but now i return after covid and i go into one of the fast food i'm like damn these people have changed and then i see like three or four more malls that have fast foods so everybody's up and doing as much as there are actually enough people to patronize all this you know businesses everybody is putting their best foot forward like just look at this one i went to <laughs> name of this place but the last time I was here was before COVID and it was pretty busy and this is a school environment so a lot of fast foods around here rebranded but I wasn't able to come here and I expected it to be the same guys so uh, I came here today to eat and then just look at everywhere like they did serious rebranding like I can't even believe it and it just made me realize how businesses have changed and how competition can be held in business as much as some people say just do your thing you know there's no competition or pressure yourself like competition has a lot to do with um, businesses innovating pushing themselves out of their comfort zone and becoming better and even making more money so i wish i could actually go around and make a video but i don't know i can't so as i was saying I've been on many calls. I wish I could really zoom, but like I am impressed at what they've been able to do. Like this is looking so on point. Like this is just an average fast food, but because it's in a student environment, and like, many fast foods have come up. There has been Genesis before and just then Kilimanjaro, but now it's Sammy's. There's Market Square, there's every day, they all have eateries and people are being forced to like leave their comfort zone and just create things to, to make it and, and I'm so impressed. So this is the food I'm eating because while well, talking I'll be eating so let me show you. So I'm going to do a cocktail with a cocktail with a cocktail with a yeah, that's what I was doing. The lights are too much. Like, look at the lights that every table has. Like, I don't know if this is ordinary for you, but it's, it's just amazing for me. Like, like, wow, this is the lens. And if you want to do business out there, you can 
even just have ass. Like it's not working anymore. So prior to now, it was fine, it was beautiful. But when I stepped, I was hungry and I wanted to eat. So there are usually two in front of me, you know, behind me, behind where my house is. So I didn't go there because the last time I think I went there, they gave me some attitude I didn't like. And the place is almost always crowded. I'm like, okay, I've not gone to this other one in a while. Let me just go there, you know. I think they should have affordable food, you know. And then I stepped into there and like, wow, just look at it. Can you see everything? Can you can you see the lights? Can you see the ceiling? And now I'm, my eyes are so particular with decoration because there's this redeco app I have on my phone where we try to decorate um, spaces. I'm like seeing all the details and like you guys all did yourself and their food was still nice and affordable and they had friendly staff. This is something that you could almost not find before. There's a mall that opened pre-COVID that when you go there, there's actually a new mall that opened in that area. When you go there, the attendants give you attitude and it's like you are begging them to buy their stuff. <laughs> I was just laughing at them in my mind. Sometimes you, most times you go, they don't have change. They will, they will now not politely tell you, I don't have change. They will like compel you, like I don't have change, buy this thing. Or they'll just carry sweet or one fifty naira thing and put in your bag. Like I don't want this thing, give me my change, that is what I want. They can't even act nicely. And when you don't take the shit they are giving, they will, they will like, if you want to go, if you go. I, I remember twice. Or once I actually dropped everything I went to buy there and I walked out and I paid transport into town to go and get it somewhere <sighs> Nigeria I'm filming so you know I, I was so impressed and it also reminds me of when I went to do a makeup here okay I didn't really take a picture or a video of the whole place but I just have this snippet like the makeup was the average makeup of 3k and they put on the gem they even have an ac like i could see the flower pots i could see the touches of decorations i could see their true pillows like the, not the usual upholstery fabric like everything was just detailed and this is 3k services before you could get this luxury if you are doing your makeup for 10k or 5k you know but now the average one like the one the, the cheapest makeup i know I know that is reasonable is 3k so even for as low as 3k makeup you can go and sit in a place comfortable like you get what you want and the place is looking fine and I'm like everybody has stepped up and for someone like me and I, and I believe a number of people they don't really care about the price that you are giving for yourselves as far as they get that comfort for me comfort is key and then give me what i want you can say you can make your prices uh, outrageous as far as anytime i go there i get what i want and i have the comfort and i like beautiful spaces i mean you know <laughs> and people have started doing it so now you can actually get um affordable services and the luxury of um a beautiful space and good delivery of the services so it's not only when you have to pay big money that you will get the VIP services now for small money you can get VIP services and why is that because so many people have gone into business and entrepreneurship it's no, no longer the time when everybody was depending on a nine-to-five and very few people did businesses and they used to make shakara now everybody they do business everybody and it's amazing and you can see the benefits of competition prior to many other fast foods opening around here we just had one or two and they were turning their noses and making faces but now everybody is nice to you every waiter is nice they are serving nice food their space is beautiful like because of this i don't mind going there every day even if i'm just going to buy a burger or or ice cream or a drink i just sit down and look at the beautiful space oh my god but it's not like everybody's doing it though some people have not even caught the vision 
there's this guy that stays close to my house that owns a beauty shop now the reason i usually patronize him like back in my where i stay at home not here the reason I patronize him number one is because it's close to my house so I can just get up anytime and go there and make my hair and come back and I patronize only his hair services I don't do my nails there because the time I did I wasn't satisfied the only time I did makeup there people thought I started bleaching because he used a light skin um, shade of foundation on me so I patronize his hair services because they are manageable and again when I say okay I really want to make my hair I start asking myself where do I go I don't want to go somewhere that they tell me um, to braid hair Ghana weaving is 10,000 or um, I never reached that level yet so I go for where I know it's affordable but my only problem with him which eventually made me to change him is that anytime you go to his salon <laughs> Is that time he wants to buy the products he wants to use on you? For example, someone wants to wash the hair. If you know you are opening a business, you should have basic things as shampoo and conditioner all the time because at least one person will wash hair every day. It's when you want to wash your hair that he says, Oh, the staff now tell him, Oh, shampoo is finished though. And then he now goes, Take. 500 and then buy shampoo. You now go and buy shampoo. At least shampoo, they, they sell them in reasonable volumes. If they were selling 15 ml of shampoo, I'm sure he would buy it. And then, I'm sorry this video is long, but it's the way the thing is making me feel like it's making me talk like this. Then, if you want, when they are drying your hair, is that time you go and buy 100 naira hair cream? And then, somebody I've known for a very long time and patronized for over five years. And I'm like, when will you change like you are doing business at least this business is paying your bills you're able to pay your staff you're able to feed from this business why don't you invest in it sometimes i want to even carry money and go and buy one very big can of um hair cream so that it doesn't embarrass himself like that and a lot of customers that work in there and see you do that kind of thing they'll just tell it themselves that this one is not ready for business it's not that time he always does it he eventually moved to another space and this one day I really had to wash my hair, but it was really late and I couldn't go far. So I just said, let me go there. He did the same thing. I was like, you, you don't ever change. And then when you don't patronize him, he'll be like, hey, you're going to make your hair somewhere, somewhere else. Thank God I eventually went to a salon that someone referred me to. And this salon is like a, a very long way from my house. It's quite far from my house. But now, <laughs> Even if they are more pricey than he is, I get what I want. As in, they, when they wash my hair, they are not washing it like clothes. Like, there's a lot of bad reviews I have about this place. And you know people, they don't know, when you want to tell them things that will help them, you today as though you are picking on them or you don't like them and they'll get offended. The times he puts on AC in the salon, most of his staff have body odor, so the whole room smelling body odor body odor how would you tell somebody that and then i don't know the kind of people he employs when they want to wash your hair they wash it as if they're washing napkin scrubbing like when somebody puts relaxer on the hair and you want to wash off the relaxer because the person might have had bones on the hair you will just use like the surface of your hand and do like this but they will scrub um, i will be upset they will now think that because it's a woman that is doing it it has nothing to do with your gender you are washing my hair like it's your baby's napkin. So all these things really piss me off. Eh? And the ones that always talk. <laughs> I'm sorry, this video is getting long. The ones that always talk and rant. Like sometimes a customer just wants peace and quiet. That's why the person came to make her hair. Close your mouth, don't always talk. Like you're washing somebody's hair, you now start talking. Bringing up stories. If you notice that the person's um, aura and mood is sad won't you just close your mouth and do your job you will talk talk i even have to tell him guy i don't want to talk you talk too much eh? so as much as there are people doing so good there are people doing so poorly they haven't seen the light and they haven't caught into the paradigm shift so if you are one of them 
me, part of the reason why I've never really started a business is because of all these things. I've done one or two things here and there, mm? but because of all these things, I don't want to start a business and start doing all these. It's the olden days that all these things work. Now, if you want to do business, you have to go all out. Then. And you will eventually, on the long run, get your game back. Mm? There's one time I managed a business with somebody, I would not want to mention the name, and I had these issues until I stopped working there. It's when somebody comes that I want to buy something that the person will use. It's not right. Eh? It's not right. These are the little things. So they sound like basic, like everybody should know, but some people say, eh, if you buy it and keep even bus drivers do it. You know that you are traveling to um 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 and um, for example, you are going from Bielsa to Port Harcourt. That is your occupation. You know that every day at least you must make one trip. Why don't you come out when you come out with your bus in the morning? Go to the feeding station and buy fuel before you load your passengers and go. It's when you are finished loading everybody. You now start going around town looking for fuel. It shows you are serious. And if I had a choice, I wouldn't tie your bus again. Eh? Now I have to travel miles to go and do my hair, but I don't even mind. Even when it's a bit pricey, I don't mind because I get satisfaction. People now want satisfaction. I don't know these people whose works of life. For example, now, oh, this video is now too long. Just to me, example now, you say the people that come to you to do business with you, they like pricing. You know, it's cheap. It's because of the way you have put your business out there. Like ah, this is just a place I can walk in and price anyhow. Yeah, I like some businesses on Instagram when they when they when you see the packaging, yeah, you don't even need to be told that this place is going to be expensive. So when you are entering there, you already have a mindset that I want to spend money, and that's how they get their money. They don't carry guns. So, so every business person out there, I think that you should really invest if you really want to do business long term. Invest in it, you will eventually get your profit, and no more half a cent. And yeah, competition can be good most of the time. It brings you out of the comfort zones, comfort zone and makes you bring out the best in you and you, you get your reward. Trust me, you will. So that's all. Thank you for watching this really long video of me ranting about businesses. But yeah, kudos to all the businesses that are putting in their all to give people average affordable services. Yeah, peace out.